We left place number one, now we're in place number two. We um uh, we went to our first place and that place was a bust. I mean, I felt kind of bad while we was in there because of the lady, you know, who came and picked us up from the airport and everything. She was like, "Oh my boss, mad. You know, her boss is gonna be mad at her." But the place just, I mean, it was it was, it was a little dirty. So anyway, we ended up finding a better place down the the way and um let me show you guys and so here's one of the rooms at the new place we had nice big window nice view it's not bad not bad just the other day saw you looking my way pretty big pool it's a real big pool it's a walmart right up over there Guys, see that. Yeah. So, trying to catch a, a cab over there because that's where everything is at. At the good old Walmart. There's one of the restrooms, just a restroom, boom. And his bedroom number two. Bedroom number two, also a big window. You can see out. Closet, towels, restroom. So how do you feel about this place here? You like it? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I think it's, I'm not gonna lie, the pool is a cellar. That's what Yeah, it is a big it. pool, yeah. <laughs> the pool sells it. Mm -hmm. But it's also just, I like how bright it is. And yeah. I just like how everything is also very accessible. That is true, too. So that's another thing. Because the last place we was at, we was, like, way farther out. Yeah, you had to pretty much, to go anywhere, you really had to get in a bus, a taxi, something. You couldn't kind of, like, walk to it because it was just too far. Yeah. And we love to walk. And I mean, we love to walk. We could walk for three hours and we don't even feel it. Mm -hmm. Like, we love to walk. Mm -hmm. And if they're saying it's that far, that like, no, we're like, yeah, no. And we want to walk comfortably. But the dead give, kill, giveaway for me as to was a deal breaker after slowly pressing things. Like, ah! she, the, mm -hmm. what the lady kept saying, make sure the doors are locked. And she kept saying it over yeah, and over and over That is true. Time. You're all right about that. She did too. Ah! She, did, she, yeah. she said that many times. That and it makes true. you wonder like, it, I mean, the places are connected, right? Yeah. But the way she said it made you feel a little suspect. Mm -hmm. Like, is it that unsafe? Like, if they see us leave, mm. are they gonna try to break in or yeah, something? Yeah. And I think that's what kind of broke the the camel's back. Yeah. Finish showing dining room table. Eat a little breakfast on a damn regular old stove, and then we're gonna go take a little trip to Walmart and go get ourselves something to eat because we haven't ate all day. Oh, they water. all drinking the water, so we're pretty dehydrated, really hungry. So, you guys stay tuned. Hopefully, we can get some really good, authentic Mexican food, you know. So, you guys stay tuned for that. This is our pachuga. Now, what is yours? Enchiladas. Right, dig in. Uh, what's going on, guys? Finally made it to the restaurant after we've been ripping and running all day. And I got, I don't even know, what is this? Enchiladas? I already got some kind of enchiladas. And what you, what you, yours look good. I don't even know what it is. Got mushrooms on there. And looks good. So, yeah, we're about to eat this and then we'll go ahead and check out the Walmart later. Sir. Yes, ma'am. Tell me how your food came out. So, uh, it's not bad. Could have been better, but it's only day one. Oh, shit. That's spicy. And the chicken needed some help. 
So we have to order some season to put on here. And I don't even know what it is. We asked for some pepper bear. I think it's a double. Right? Oh, I don't know. You know a double season? What do you Some kind of Hispanic season. But it's not bad. Put it in my bean and everything. It's not bad. So pretty much you tell me you had to season your own food. Pretty much. Thank you for your opinion, sir. Ma'am. Two out of ten. But the rice is good. What about this one? Oh, which one was the two out, two out of ten? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. The beans, I haven't retasted it yet since I put in the seasoning, but we did need the help of. I'm listening. Oh, here's oh, your background. We did need the help of additional seasoning. And the rice was on point. This food right here, you can zoom in if you got to. Was phenomenal. The mashed potatoes and the salad, the mushroom was done to perfection. I don't know what kind of experience these two had, but they missed out what I had over here, okay? I got a lot to do. What's going on, my people? In the Walmart in Cancun. We're doing a little shopping. Not much, but doing a few things. At the crack of dawn, in the dark of night, what I got to do? Got to do. I'ma make it loud, how I made to scream like a cockatoo. Squall. Turn the party web. I can do. What you expect, how I forget these thoughts of you. Okay, good morning. Ignore my voice. My voice sounds rough. I lost my voice. But we woke up this morning and said we're going to walk around and see around us. Just get a chance to see the environment. Be with the people. <laughs> but right now we're trying to find somewhere to eat. And we, we, we're struggling, but we're going to find it. <laughs> Um, uno taco and uh, one torta. It's a uh, pig? Monday. Pig? Pig? Yeah, that's pork. Right? You thought you thought you got So, yeah, I have the taco and I have a torta. They put beef, I don't know, it's, it's actually just pork, so it has a little pig fat. But that's. It's normally pretty good. At least I like it. And we got the sauces. She got the same thing. And she just got a taco because she just wanted to test hers out first before she proceeded to move on. So what do you think? It's pretty good. It's pretty good? It's good. I mean, it's not a fan of corn tortillas, but. It's not bad, huh? It's not bad. The green sauce is really good. It's yeah. hot. So we was actually gonna go walk to another spot and on our way walking to that spot, we had came across this spot. So we was like, hey, why not give it a try, you know? And so far, it's looking all right. She almost told me, if she eating it, then it must be good. <laughs> so I, I, I think we okay then. I think I'm good to go. And I got a classic coca. And yeah. But they pretty much only had pork here, yeah. which is fine. But at least now, for us, we know how to better navigate on how to name each what pork is, what beef is, what chicken is. Mm -hmm. I think it'll help us also knowing what we mm -hmm. knowing what we are asking for. But okay. it's okay. I'll say it like that. It's okay. Yeah. But because even the taco to me wasn't bad, right? Mm -hmm. But it wasn't my favorite. But it was not bad. So, did you say how you felt about yours? Hmm, look what I put in. 
Um, hey, nothing but the tortilla and left everything else. What did you think? Of, did you <laughs> say what you thought of it? It was okay. I mean, I'm not really a fan of corn tortillas anyways. And all they had was pork, and I really wanted, like, beef or chicken. But it was okay. But you know one thing I noticed? Is that they coke tastes different from the one back at home. I don't know if it's like less sugar or what. But it tastes, it's not bad. It tastes good. It tastes a little better, but it tastes different. Puller. I don't know what that guy is down there. But you had to pull this long barge like thing across the pool and take their time and clean it up. Look at her. I'm so fascinated by it. Oh my god, I've never seen him clean a pool like this before. Martha. Baby decided to fall asleep. Yeah, she's out. She said she had her fun and now she's asleep. It's nap time. Oh, it's good. Oh, homemade. Oh, that's yummy. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. You like it? I like that. I want the pineapple coconut. This one. Can I see the light on it? You see yeah. it, right? Yeah. Pineapple yeah. coconut? Oh, you want this one in the cranberry? I don't care. It's good to me. It's good. You miss it's it cheese Yeah, mm. you should try it. Okay, I'll try It's apple It's really good. Yeah. Let's see her try one. It's an apple with cinnamon. Mm, what do you think? It's pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. We have a natural cheese. cheese. This is so good. A cheese with pineapple. I love cranberry, though. Which one? I, love I like the apple cinnamon one, that's good. Yeah. But that apple cinnamon one is good. Apple cinnamon. Yeah. Galleta Oreo, como se dice galleta Oreo? With a... You got Oreo? Oreo. Oreo. Crack it. Or Oreo? That's an Oreo one. I like them. I want to try this one. Which one's that one? Apple cinnamon? Apple cinnamon. Ooh, you want that one too? 35 cents? I mean 35 pesos. You want one? You want another one? Yeah, just, get, yeah, just get a few of them. How many? Get two, three of them, or whatever. Then give me the other, the note in your, in your wallet. That's the note? No, no, no. I do. I want oh, this okay. and this. Dos. Yeah. Dos. Okay. Oh, my hands are full, and with the money, I can't get it. Give it. I should take the money out. The note in there. And this, uh, the purple. How much is that one? Huh? Oh, yeah, gracias. It's, it's 50 <laughs> plus 20. For nada. <laughs> 50. And how much is it for two? Yeah. For two, it's uh -huh. 70 pesos. 50, 60, 70. 
Hey, do it. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold it's on. Okay. Hold on. Okay. This is what we got from the older couple on the street whenever we were walking. Okay, we already ate the pineapple coconut. It was popping. Mm -hmm. It was pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. It was real good. At first, I was a little bit skeptical of like getting them and trying them out. But, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I'm glad we got them. Because that pineapple and coconut, that one was real good. This one, this one here is apple cinnamon. And it's okay. I mean, it's not bad. It's good. But I prefer the... Uh, mm, I'm the uh, Pineapple coconut? Yeah, pineapple coconut over this one. But... I'm going to take a bite because it's more sugar. It, was, it has a lot... I see what you mean. It's not bad. It's good. Mm -hmm. But, like you said, I don't know. It's hard. I just took a bite of mine right now. This popping, too. I feel like I no, was... This one is good, too. But if I had to pick, I'd go with the first one. I feel like I'm having a hard time to decide. Oh, these are cheesecake. Yeah. Cheese, homemade cheese cheesecake. Cheesecake. No, cheesecake. Cheese I don't know why I'd be fumbling them, too. Cheesecake. Homemade cheesecake. Yeah, they said they made it. I wish we would have had their number. We would have asked for some more. Because they had so many flavors. They did. They had like Oreo. Cranberry. Yep. Uh, blueberry, I believe. So many flavors. Yeah. This is Ashley. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ashley, and I will be third wheeling on this trip for the year. I'm definitely nervous, worried about money and just random things, but I'm excited. I've always wanted to do this. I always said I would do this. I've actually been to 39 countries so far, so I'm really excited, and I'm really excited to be doing this with other people instead of by myself. I've been to three countries by myself, but I'm nervous but ready. I've always wanted to do this. So. Because this would be full time, traveling and actually like leaving my job and not working. Uh, that's why I'm nervous now. But I think it'll be worth it. Traveling that experience is just something, I don't know, it's just something incredible. I can't even describe it until you actually do it. It's literally an experience of a lifetime. Comes around and then I remember all things must pass. I've completely, I've completed Central America so far, but I've been to 39 countries. Did three solo trips. Went to Honduras, oh. Panama, and Colombia. I think on one of the trips I did get lonely, but then I was fine. Once you like get busy and start doing stuff, you just kind of book tours with people. And that's how I also got to meet other fellow like solo travelers. I've always had this idea in the back of my head. I even texted my mom earlier this year and told her I was gonna quit my job and travel the world. And then she asked me, how was I going to pay my bills? I told her she would. I know my mom taught me that. So, <laughs> she laughed. I'm definitely nervous, for wow. sure. Um, I don't, I think just everything, like there's, we're still kind of in a pandemic, so there's still restrictions, you know. Um, I haven't like quit my job yet, because I'm still going to be working in the beginning. And then after that. I will. So we'll see how that goes. Are you doing it for uh, how long? A year. I'm excited but nervous for sure. <laughs> and of course, financially, you just want to make sure you're good. And that's what I want to make sure of before we go. We're gonna visit Mexico first, and then do, and then do like the Caribbean and like Central America, possibly South America too, just to stay close because I'm gonna be back and forth since I'm still work in the beginning. So, before anything's gonna even happen, I have to renew my passport. And it's very emotional and bittersweet for me to renew it because it was my first passport. I got it in 2014 and I have to renew it, not because it's going to expire, but because I ran out of pages. Wow. So, nice. it's gonna be an emotional day for me when I go renew that, but it's okay, I'll be okay. I'll be okay once it's back in my hands. And I haven't told my family about the plan exactly yet, besides me briefly <coughs> mentioning it for jokes earlier this year. It's funny how that works out. So I will mention them. I'll mention that to them on Christmas. 
Talk about breaking the drop in the bomb or no? <laughs> I wasn't joking. I was for real. <laughs> this is <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I got the name just doing some research, and then we do have a baby traveler with us, and I would be the third wheel. So. <laughs> Oh, I thought the baby was the third wheel. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's actually a good one. You're doing all of this, why? Because you only live once and you can, and those memories you get from traveling, that experience is unmatched. And working every day is not it. So, you gotta do, I wanna do it while I can. That's, that's one thing, when I like talk to older people, one thing they have regretted was not really living their life. So I want to make sure I live my life to the fullest as much as possible while I still can. And to be young enough to enjoy it, not when I'm old and hurting. Follow our journey. You're going to want to see this. <laughs> Especially the third one. <laughs> AKA the baby. <laughs>